Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? Uh, it is Friday and I'm going to give you a little bit of rundown on what we're doing. Uh, right now I'm doing a video on some gear, uh, show you what I carry uh, or how I carry what I'm carrying. And then uh, later this afternoon we're going to put up a video, a Q&A video, so if anybody's got any questions. Right now it's about 1 o'clock Arizona time. Uh, about 5 o'clock I'll be recording a video about uh, questions and answers. Uh, that will include PM messages, questions I have, unless you put, uh, please keep it private. So, uh, and then tomorrow we've got two range videos I'm doing. I'm going to go down and meet with a new person that I haven't met before about a new gun. And uh, regardless if I buy it or not, I will be, uh, it's a new used gun, new second hand. And uh, regardless whether I buy it or not, I will be bringing some of my guns and we will be doing some shooting. So, tomorrow you'll be getting some range videos, at least one, maybe two or three. And then, uh, who knows, I've also got another gun that I've got my eye on, so we might do more than that. So, that's what you got to look forward to. Uh, thanks for everybody for the anniversary wishes. It was a very nice time. It was our 16th anniversary. Uh, so, it was really nice. Had a good time. So, uh, as you can see on the table there, uh, we've got my SIG RCS 1911. I'm uh, going to show you this video because I came up with this idea for this video because Tony, uh, PRCHO uh, 520 Perchinko, or Perchico 520 Anthony, he did a little video about one of his favorite holsters and I thought, ah, I'll show you some of mine. Now, I've got a lot of gear here guys, in 15 minutes I could not possibly show you a third of my gear collection, but I'm going to show you what I use most of the time. As you know, 99% of the time I'm carrying a 4, four or 5 inch 1911. Get my little light out of here. We will go ahead and make sure that it's safety cleared for everybody's uh, uh, no magazine down there. And no breach, no brass. You can see all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so we know that we're clear. Uh, I'm going to show you most of the time I carry inside the waistband with a Galco holster. Uh, this one, I'm not sure the name of it offhand, but if I can, I will annotate right down here what the name of it is. Uh, I also carry it in a USA, which is called the Ultimate Second Amendment Holster by Galco. Um, but I actually need to get a new one of those. If I get one of those uh, this weekend, which I'm planning on it, I will show it to you in the next video. But uh, this is a really... Good quality of leather, like I said, it is Galco. Uh, it is an inside the waistband. You just clip it in your uh, belt, obviously, and put it in there. Uh, it doesn't have any finishing on the inside, as far as I know, any lining. But I've never had any bluing issues. You know, a lot of my guns are stainless, so I don't have to worry about that. That's one of the reasons I like stainless. But uh, you know, the the Sig 1911, it's a little bit fatter barrel. Uh, fatter muzzle so I didn't know how it was going to fit. I was told by a lot of people that I need to get new holsters but as you can see we're fitting in there right just nice and fine. I mean it's not all the way in there. I could push it in there a little bit more. Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm going to get a new USA holster uh, Ultimate Second Amendment holster from Galco so it might fit in there be easier because this is my everyday carry right now. Uh, but uh, it's a really great little holster. Uh, it does hold it real concealed I very rarely am printing. Uh, usually I wear bowling type shirts like, uh, I don't know, a lot of you guys probably wear them. Uh, Charlie Sheen wore them on Two and a Half Men. Bad reference, but that's the only one I could think of. I like those untucked shirts um, with the t-shirt underneath. In Arizona it's real pleasant in the summertime. <laughs> yeah, that was a joke. So that is my most popular carry holster if I am going to open carry. And actually, it is designed to be a concealed carry holster. This is my next favorite. This is a uh, an outside the waistband, of course, lefty, of course. Um, this rides pretty high on my hip, so uh, if I've got a longer shirt, I can wear this outside the waistband and still concealed carry. This is also not lined, but it's not made by Galco. It's made by probably my favorite gun man or a holster manufacturer. It's called Nevada Gun Leather. Uh, probably won't be able to get a good shot of that, but we'll see what the HD can do. Um, 
Nevada Gun Leather sells two places, Crossroads of the West Gun Shows and online. They don't have a storefront, they do, don't put them in any range stores or any gun stores. Uh, they are strictly online and at the gun shows. And I'll tell you guys, uh, this is a great little holster. It rides real high. Uh, it is like a holster that I like from Galco that is called... That's the name of that holster that I'm thinking about. Uh, it's a great little holster. Uh, like I said, it rides high and you can carry it concealed. Or if I'm going to open carry, I'm going to carry that. It's got a great angle to it. That's, that's my belt angle. So that's where it's going to be uh, angled. So uh, that is my second most popular carry holster. NevadaGunLeather.com is their website. If you uh, call them up, see if they do gun shows around the country. I know they do all the crossroads of the West gun shows in Arizona, Nevada, California, uh, I'm not sure what other shows they go to, but I'll tell you what This holster right here Was $65 through Galco and between you and me Galco's getting a little bit big for their britches because their prices are really high uh, The stitching is great on the Galco holsters, but it's also great on the Nevada gun leather holsters um, And when I got that holster from Nevada gun leather, I also got my extra magazine holster right there Great little magazine. Uh, next time I go to the gun show, which is actually next weekend, the 10th and 11th in Phoenix, Arizona, I'm going to the gun show. Anybody that's local lets meet up. But, uh, you know, they're going to be there. And I might get a double mag because it might be nice to carry. I, I always carry at least one extra magazine. Never used to, but as of the January 8th uh, Tucson shootings, I carry two. So that's a really nice holster. That's also Nevada gun leather. Check out the stitching on that, guys. HD might be beneficial there. And this is an adjustable tension screw. Um, I also checked out prices for Galco. A Galco magazine holster is between forty and sixty bucks. This holster was nine ninety five. Nine dollars and ninety five cents for that holster for the magazine. How much was the uh, conceal holster, high high riding hip holster, concealed, open carry, whatever. Nineteen ninety five guys. So for less than thirty bucks, I've got two of these fine leather Nevada gun leather holsters. That's why I love Nevada gun leather because of the prices. Quality is there. You're not sacrificing quality for price. So less than thirty bucks. This one, uh, my Galco. 55 or 60 something like that don't remember the exact price, but I think it was 58 So because they don't have the storefront because they don't have the overhead they can give you good prices uh, Here's another holster that I've shown you in the past my Galco uh, dual purpose Flashlight magazine holster. That's also one that I carry almost every day At least if I'm going out After two or three in the afternoon, I'm going to carry the flashlight with me I also am picking up a new flashlight tomorrow that's a pocket flashlight. It also comes with this old holster. I'll be doing a review of that on Monday or Sunday. So that's Galco. That was 55 bucks. I don't like how Galco's, you know, their prices are just too high for me. You know, I'd rather spend the money on guns than the gear to carry them. So, yeah, I will endorse Nevada gun leather all day long, everywhere I can, because I really think that their products are superior. Uh, and uh, like I said, this one is a good year old and it gets carried probably three days a week and it's in great condition. You know, it fits the SIG 1911 just fine. Um, and yeah, I love it. So that's my little gear review. That Those are my post, most popular holsters. Um, and uh, I will be doing videos uh, this weekend for shooting, the range videos, the most popular videos you guys like. So if you have any questions, comments, if you don't put keep it private, I'm going to talk about it on the air today at 5 o'clock. And it does take about, I did find out that it's taking about two hours to download under the hoop super high speed internet. So uh, two hour download, so expect that video up about uh, 8.30, 9 o'clock tonight. Thanks a lot guys, we'll see you soon. Shoot safe, be safe.